What's up, guys? It's your boys, Awoke, back out with some more of the Team Elton and Team Corey drama. Uh, we have now gotten a response from Corey Shear, but it's not the response that you are wanting. It is pretty much just a letter. Um, we're going to take a look at it, see what he has on his side. Uh, before we go any further, if you guys could do me a solid favor and subscribe to the YouTube channel by hitting that wiper icon down at the bottom right. Hit the bell icon next to it. When I do post videos like this one, you guys will get that little ring notification that I've posted that video. Then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, I'm so thankful for all of you guys being here so far. Now, we've been going over this for the past couple weeks between Elton and Corey finding out they had a fallout. Um, Corey had left the Overnight Channel and TFIL back in January. We're just now hearing about it um, because... Elton had made a video about what his side was. Then Corey made one. Then Elton made them. Then Corey finally responded. But Elton had made it very clear that he had told Corey on a video that please take these videos down. Uh, we won't re resort to any uh, legal actions um, if you take them down. Uh, he did ask if he would be able to have a live one-on-one -on -one talk with each other, kind of hash it out, get it over with. But unfortunately, that doesn't look like where it's going. So with that being said, let's take a look at the TikTok and see what exactly they are talking with in regards to this letter and so forth. So let's take a look. So these are actually posted on Corey's um, TikTok, which I'll post down in the links in the description. Um, it says, hey, everyone, after spending the last two weeks with Devian and is that how you pronounce that? And friends focusing on positivity, faith and growth. I wanted to address the following things before getting back at or back to doing what I love. Before any of this came out about me leaving the overnight channel and TFIL channels, as you know, I never spoke neg negatively about Elton or anyone else on the social media platform. We've heard different in, in an aspect um, about Elton or anyone else on the social platforms. I am not one who initiates drama nor tries to destroy someone's career or reputation. But yet you told us in your video that you had to make sure that people didn't leave because of Elton and Elton was bad at this and Elton, it, this just seems like a scapegoat that we're seeing right now instead of a video. Um, yeah, so let's go to the next one. Not this one. Whoop. Hold on, go back. This one. Okay, there we go. I did not pull out of the charity event. That is 100% untrue. I was never notified or given any op options whatsoever. For anyone who was told that I was not going to fulfill my obligations and was offered a refund, I would have more than happy to set up a meet and greet with y'all at no cost. As the deforma deformation, deformating, defamation, I can't pronounce that. Defaming, there we go. Accusations of me faking being sick at the overnight charity live stream to the overnight team. Feel free to check with the management team who took care of me while I was sick with a fever chills and vomiting all night in the bathroom unfortunately they even had to buy a new toilet seat sorry about that guys um and the lazy person that i am apparently i went right back in and continued the live stream but didn't he come out here and there he didn't stay for the whole thing i apologize to everyone for coming across as an ungrateful uh as ungrateful when i mentioned the minimum wage reference I was told that the California state annual minimum wage is 66 and with my pay 61,000 for the overnight and TFI videos. I based it off of all that and then made that reference. Yes, I should have researched it more and yes, it was just as or just a dumb remark. Well, at least he's apologizing for that, but I think he could apologize for a little bit more to Elton. And to reiterate, I did not lie about my income. I was very clear with my 1099. I said that it's just an overnight and TFIL. I did not bring up my other pay because that is from a completely different entity for the house homies or the hunted homies tour. I quit overnight 
and TFIL and had a fulfilled every video before doing so. And adding in monies that I could have made is unprofessional and misleading. Okay. I have so much more. I have so much more that I could say, but someone needed to be an adult in the room. That's kind of a... I am still friends with everyone I filmed with in the past and except Elton. I chose to walk away peacefully in January from him and the reasons I did not publicly come out that or what or with that is for that reason I chose peace. I wish Elton nothing but the best. I love y'all and wanted to thank those who have supported me through all of my journeys. No one should ever have to feel like they can't explore other opportunities and try new ventures. Everyone should be allowed to try new things. Devian, Devian and I started our own candle business last year and it's going great. A couple months ago, we decided to try our own YouTube channel and that we are just starting getting started. It is time to move forward. You can either join me or wish you the best luck or I wish you the best luck. All I want is peace, positivity, and for everyone to be happy in the path that they are taking. Now, this, <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of comments. They're Team Elton, Team Elton, Team Elton. I see one Corey. Um, I will say Corey was the main reason I watched old paranormal videos and stuff. I That's one reason why I started watching a lot of the stuff is because of Corey. I enjoyed him on Sam and Kobe. I enjoyed him on the Overnight Channel. Um, but then I started seeing a little bit here and there going bad um do the live stream people are telling him to do the live stream with elton um no one could ever make you hate you believe that you're recording me to fan. team elton team elton team elton team elton i'm seeing all this in the comments right here guys team elton team elton team elton Elton is a narcissist. You carry TFIL. We love you, Corey. You deserve peace. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I just don't like that we're seeing this way. Like, why couldn't he talk with Elton on a 1v1 live stream and become friends again like can't you just move past that kind of thing um i'm most definitely thinking that we're gonna see a response from elton if there isn't one already which i'm gonna take a look at right now at this moment there is nothing from uh elton but that video that was just posted from Corey was 17 hours ago. So I don't know if he know or if Elton knows about this. Um, I'm reading more of the comments here. People will stick by Corey. Been watching you since Vine. Team Peace. Take care of yourself. We love you lots. Um, but the only thing that I, I'm bummed out is about is when I had a breakup with an ex, this is not a breakup, but it's almost like a breakup kind of thing. When I was broken up over a letter that, oh, it's not me. It's you. It's, it's, I can't do this anymore. Um, there's just, we fight this and fight, like, tell me to my face, break up with me to my face. Like we would have never caused the drama, but I feel like this is just a scapegoat to not have to one see see him or see Elton not to cause drama which yes but I feel like you could have a debate and not have to be negative towards each other um I just feel like a letter is a cop out like talk video like let's, let's talk it out and see what he has to say and and we don't have any documentation from Corey that says hey this is what Corey got this is Elton's got all that and what I'm afraid of is 
that it's going to go legal. This is all going to go legalized because defamation and on, I think there's defamation on both sides, to be honest. Um, it's not that wrong for Corey to want to venture out and do what he wants, but did he do it in the right way by leaving? Well, we're, we're hearing it's not that way. He didn't say, Hey, overnight channel and TFIL. I think I'm going to go in a direction that I would like to go. Um, again, we're still learning bits and pieces as we go about all this. Um, but again, I'm getting scared that it's going to go legal. I'm just really scared that this is going to go legal and we're going to see one person fall when the other person, cause you don't really have when coming out of court, you really don't have two winners. Like you have one winner and one maybe completely destroyed one kind of eh, didn't get what they wanted, but they didn't get destroyed. Like, if this goes defamation side where one sues the other, it could get really gross. And that's what I'm afraid of that with all the evidence that we've seen from Corey or uh, Elton, Corey doesn't have the backup part. So um, with that being said, comment your guys thoughts down below on Corey's response. I again think within the next 24 hours, we're going to see a response to Elton and it's not going to be good. I just have a feeling. Um, Hit the like button for my reaction, not for the drama. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. So please take care, be safe, and keep learning on, and we'll see you guys next time.